like what are you doing following her? Please don't follow, 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 follow. Like you don't see kind of people that you see on the video. Say, is it your birthday today? She will wear it, and then she will. Cause girls like you run around with guys like me to sundown when I come through. I need a girl like you, yeah, yeah. Girls like you. This episode today is sponsored by Up Bra. I didn't even can see all this cleavage action, guys. I'm not. I didn't do any plastic surgery or anything. I did not do anything different. It's just my bra. So Up Bra is a company. I don't even know where they are based, but they make bras to fit your life. So you can literally buy one bra and that bra would give you so many ways to wear it Take for instance this one. This is the bikini because I can obviously can't show you guys the bra But most of their bras actually have the same kind of quality to all of them So this is a bikini top and it's got the bottoms as well I really can't wait to travel and rock this one. So all their bras have this So you see this um, two things here. They're just to help you, you know Decide the amount of cleavage you want to show. So if you don't want cleavage, you should just leave it like this where the bra, where if the bra is your size, obviously it's a bit padded, but it's not crazy padded like that maximum kind of pad. It has like, I don't know what it has here, I don't even know what to call it, but it just makes it sit beautifully on your breast. And then yeah, if you want to make it tighter, you just take off this um, tab thing, you can increase it down to here, increase that one down to here, and then it just helps the bra becomes, it just pushes your boobs a bit more. Obviously it's looking weird like this, but when you wear it on the body, it actually just gives you a bit more cleavage. So if you can see this bra, I mean, this is my normal A cup boobs. But look at how I'm looking. Ah. So this morning, um, I was ready for work. Um, I was like an hour early. So I decided to just shoot a video. Literally, I live 15 minutes away from my office. And that's walking. Not even taking the bus or driving or anything. Just walking down. So I can literally walk to my office. So everywhere gets to bright on time. And then you awake at 5. Thinking it's 8 o'clock. And then you know, get ready and stuff. And then you're like, so much time to work. So I was like, why not shoot a video? And yeah, I just thought that I should share, um, you know, just the accounts of some girls who I think are crap. That's a lie. Girls who I think I really love and then like they inspire me fashion wise. So there's so many people on Instagram that inspire me in so many ways to do so many things. I like to follow people who I like. Like I'm not one of those people that follow someone you don't you don't like them and you're just following them and knowing yourself every day. No. I'm really, really hoping I remember these things like everybody who I intend to put first of all. So um Nalusuji, um Abi Ogunsaya, Abi Naija, Pizzi Face, Okwemi's Diary. These are people who like I communicate with every day. Like we're always in each other's comment sections of them. Nel Usuji is someone I met on this on Instagram. We actually attended some events on time she's a mommy you know and then she always does her videos she does vlogging she's so hard working on the whole platform she has a youtube channel as well as well i mean even say i so stunning like i love her style like she's so like i love the way she posts her pictures as well i really really love her style her color is I really have that. Abby Naija, um, yeah, she's really really cutesy and all that she's very very funny it's like she does a lot of um beauty stuff as well but yeah the fashion side of things also very very popping some years back when we both i think she started blogging after i started but yeah we should have hooked up and did a collaborative post she's so hard working she takes her blog so seriously i love the way she takes her blog and then yeah her style is really really clean and um, she does a lot of beauty as well she's a medical doctor yeah she's absolutely amazing so you should follow um this girl don't know where diary is such a hard working abuja blog i think she's in abuja she does outfits sometimes i think she even does like two outfits in a day like i don't know how Okwemi does it but like she shoots every time like you just see that drive and passion there's nothing like like sometimes someone can be doing something that is not in your field but just the way they do it you're like come this person actually inspired me with the way she works so that's someone i really really appreciate okay the first person i'll mention on this list is i am dodos i am dodos um to be honest i don't know what she does but i don't know i guess she's a blogger as well but her style is really really nice i think she's based in london as well she takes really lovely pictures like she's someone that you see wearing something that's normal like you just like the pants or you just like something about it i don't think she posts that that much but yeah she, she's just she's just beautiful to have your timeline i always like having on my timeline she's then sarah bellum sarah bellum is someone i don't even know i think she's nigerian to be honest because of the amount of nigerians that follow her by the way guys everybody on this list is nigerian yeah so um she's nigerian i think um i like her feed um, the way it's all dark and stuff and then the way her pictures just look so um i don't know what's called it metallic <laughs> yeah and then her style is also nice and then she doesn't she kind of like effortless too there might be some work like with the editing and stuff but she's kind of like effortless in her style and 
yeah she's quite different to with the stuff the next person is to your c um to your c g g owner um to your c like she's an amazing blogger she's so hard working guys she's a businesswoman obviously you guys know i love people that do business i love people who are about the money about the bag like we follow each other on instagram but like when she tries to reach out to me collaborate with her like she sends an email like she just does it professionally it's not about like body 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 like that anyway but she's someone i really respect like i really like the way she um her, the way she wears her, her clothes she's in lagos guys and then it's really really difficult when you're in lagos to actually take like amazing nice pictures but she's so eccentric with um her, her poses um when she attends fashion events like you want to see what you see wore you know she actually the star minimalist um star minimalist i think she's a mummy and i really really respect mummies when i see fashion mummies like i'm really really like um in all of them because there's there's so much you know they get to do with kids and everything and they still bring out time to come and take like nice pictures so this time in the mummy she's um she likes to take her pictures on like a plain colorful background she loves to play with colors um she has like all this edgy bags you know this fun playful kind of bag plays with her colors very very nicely so if you want like some brightness and joy on your timeline i think you should follow the style minimalist and the next um, wardrobe so um Fisa Longe is a blogger um she's a businesswoman as well I just love the way she actually takes time to take her pictures, her angles, like she actually works, you know, with her, her self and then, you know, gets her photographer to just photograph her properly. So she works so nicely. Anything she wears, like she could wear it like just something regular. Then she just, there's way she just poses with it that just gives you that edgy. And then she's such a hardworking girl. She has a business as well, a fashion business and as we other things. Obviously she's an influencer. So she works. And this her is so funny guys. Like you guys should follow her. Like every, any, like just listen to her IG story. Like she's someone that when I listen to her IG story, I never skip. I just want to listen to everything because she's really funny. And this is so, oh, it's like so she's so when I featured on my Hotel of the Week, there's sometimes I used to do Hotel of the Week on my blog. So that's how I found Star Connor. So she had this um, print outfit. She's really nice. She's so big girl. Like she just knows how to take a picture. And then she has the body girl. She's so skinny. Like just like a hanger. She's not like pose. Just make you like the outfit. You know? She looks like someone that's just enjoying what she does. I don't know what she does in Lagos right now. I think she's like a public figure. Probably does something in the media and stuff. But yeah, Star Connor So is someone who will add a lot of spice to your page. You should follow her. And Mary Mary is my friend. She's a stylist. She's so eccentric, guys. She's so fun. Like when, whenever Mary J comes to Lig um to London, like we do stuff. Like you know things that you'll be begging your friends, please come and they blog blogger related things. She's the one I did the London location thing i can't wait for her to come back to london again so we do more she's like she's so fun like adventurous spontaneous major and then style wise she's so different she knows how to combine stuff she works with a lot of brands in lagos like she's just an amazing stylist and then a fashion girl as well she's so fun as well she's so down and she's so nice and yeah she's my friend so obviously like i have more to say about her but yeah you should follow me because you wouldn't regret it i should give you all the backstage access to all those lagos events stella jado fashion she's based in maryland or america she's stunning obviously like stella for the working woman like stella will give you like how to combine your clothes she'll give you like outfits she's just very steady with her pictures her pictures are always beautifully taken and edited um the style um the style oh, sorry style territory she's someone i follow as well i really like her style i like where she poses like sometimes I just like like some of people just like I don't know them personally I've never had any conversation with them but I just like the way they come off and then yeah we just follow each other comment on each other's posts and style Terry I should follow then picture perfect that's also another person she her and style Terry just sometimes I confuse both of them <laughs> like yeah I don't know I just put them like on the same thing here in my head I don't know if you guys do that kind of thing anyway picture perfect I think she's busy in Ukraine I think she's graduated now her style is also really nice she also knows how to take a good picture in a good background so she's someone you should follow Dami Lola of Edao Fashion you guys Dami Lola is someone I met um, some years back we met at some styling thing then Dami Lola was still growing as a blogger like Dami Lola is someone who if you're thinking you cannot like you you and you don't have anybody you don't know any follower just go and follow Dami Lola because I knew Dami Lola Dami Lola started with hard work like she literally used to read blog posts know how to make her blog posts better buy the right items photograph the right items she wanted to like featured on my hot day of the week Dami before I knew Dami Lola was like up there like She's just someone you should learn from. Like, if you want to learn how to do things on your own and grow on your own, now she's like fantastic. She's so stylish. Like, you now you know when someone now has a lot of more engagement and more following, and you start seeing the more of the, of the beauty from her. Like, I always knew she had drive. Like, I remember when we had conversations on this whole blogging thing before I knew. Like, Dabla had walked away. She's like basically at the top right now of her game blogging wise. To be honest, since Alera brought her up. So Alera brought her up. I don't know if you know her. She's very flamboyant, guys. If you want to see, like 
flamboyant combinations like this alera alera will make your timeline beautiful with her beautiful the way she matches things in a way you wouldn't think about sometimes she is like an overkill but it actually looks beautiful when she puts everything together hafimo is the next person on my list she's um i think she's a modest style kind of person she has a brand as well i was actually trying to buy a piece from her brand but I don't even know what stopped me. I think it was the the UK exchange rates they had on the on the website because I really like to support Nigerian brands and like people who are growing their businesses. I'm still going to look into that. So There's one of her pink dresses I really really wanted to buy. I'll probably look into that. So yeah, she's also very stunning with her pictures. It takes time to take a nice picture. She she does like this modest thing where she will cover like almost all her skin, but she will still be looking so beautiful. So you should follow her Fimo if that is your thing. OG Style Temple. I put her slash D one do. So these two girls are girls who have brands I really, really love. Like I've literally shopped on the nail girl um, a couple times now. OG Style Temple or more. I can't even afford those things. Like I tried yesterday to see if I could buy maybe something from her store. The only thing I could saw, saw that could mm, a pair of trousers that were like I think they're like 18 grand. I was like she could most of the things were like 69k. So I was just like, come if I buy this thing like there's so many people in your DMs crying that our money when you're not gonna be slain on with 69k. You know, just makes sense. But those girls are fucking stylish, especially OG starter, which is so like her pieces are out of the world. Like if you just want to buy one thing from a Nigerian designer, I guess just go to Style Temple. If you want to like invest in someone and then you wouldn't regret it, go to Style because you really see people wear like hi, it's just, it's just a very few people. And she's so creative with those pieces. The one doing with those pieces, the one doing the new girl as well. The new girl is very relatable. Their prices are okay, though the exchange rate thing is not that good as well on their website, but their prices are okay. So anyway, these girls are girls who are like fashion girls. I love their style. I love the one such actually takes time to go to the like the CD ocean you know so many places take her pictures oh just out temple too as well she travels a lot so like her pictures are always really beautiful and her style is just i don't know i think i would say South Temple is like my favorite um, Nigerian brand. I've never just bought something from them, but their styles, everything is just beautiful. That's on my list now is out of Barbara's box. So Barbara is very stylish. This modern take to the African queen kind of look. Yeah, so she's always like very chic, you know, just appropriately dressed and like, yeah, regal. I don't know. She just has this classic thing about her. So that's someone it'll be nice for you guys to follow. Next person, Swagger is my thing. Like she's such a yummy mommy, guys. She's a new mom. You should follow her. She's so lush. Her skin is just like ice cream, first of all, and then she knows how to rock her pieces. Like she can wear a t-shirt and he'll look nice just because maybe the footwear is just standing out looking pretty on the corner. She's now a mom. As I told you guys, I really, really respect girls who are working and moms and like still so stylish. So yeah, Swagger is my thing. It's the one. She's really, really nice and friendly. Like she would like literally comment on your picture, follow you back and stuff. So yeah, I think you should follow her for some inspiration and then yeah, just to have something pleasant on your timeline. Um, I would like to shout out to my friend Ice Cream. For you guys who, you know, are thinking of like maybe starting like a designer collection designer bar collection i really really like the way she's been buying her pieces one by one really nice pieces so if you're like looking for inspiration in that direction yeah ice cream is one to follow she's quite quiet on instagram but you see one of those odd pictures where she's looking like pretty and then she has a very lovely um um let's see simple and chic um style to her kind of edgy but very very light edge cocopolitan is the one that featured on um, hot of the week she's an amazing girl like She's so creative. Ah, like when, like when, like she, she's the one that made me like really like Instagram. Like from the way people, like you know, she would just do like maybe polka dots, white and black with black, white and black. I don't know. That's just the way she just does some kind of like combinations. Like we just, no, I don't know if she actually wears those things like that. She just does it for the pictures, but she's just beautiful to watch. Like. She's just stylish, she's just effortless. Well, I don't know. Yeah, just she actually like, gives me one kind of vibe that is just different. Like I don't know, there's just something about her <laughs> and her style. There's an effortless thing to it. There's a a, a carefree um, vibe to it as well and then there's just that call girl your head is there <laughs> and then in her locations as well she actually puts effort in it and she's just she's just nice like it's just nice to see Shewa on your timeline then on my number four is Soke Makewa obviously all of you know I'm sure you're all following Soke Makewa already the good thing about Soke Makewa right like apart from the fact that she's you know a style queen she's a businesswoman I don't know if she's that 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 stylish she just has like you know everything basically but yeah she tries she really truly really tries but 
but I don't know in like combination wise I'll say Tokeba but Toke is up there with everything another thing that inspires me Toke Makewa is I don't know her lifestyle I took him Makewa will talk about the Bible and I actually want to go and read the Bible like <laughs> chicken like it's not as if she's she carries Bible in her head but there's just something commanding about her and there's something I don't know let's say relatable as well influencer she has like influence if I should say so yeah, she knows how to like Koke has it all. I don't like I don't understand how Toke's wardrobe would be. It'd probably be fill up the room. Like she has everything. And then she just knows how to like baby girl life. Like ah uh, she gives you life. Like <laughs> she gives you life. And the way you now read her book and everything, you know thing I call me like I know this girl. It's just it's just lovely to have Toke Makiwa on your page. So yeah, I think you should follow Toke Makiwa if you're not already following her. The new on my list is Jennifer Osei, the Lady Vodka. Ha how are you not following the Lady Vodka? Please go and follow her. Like, you don't come for that, you see on the video, say, is it your birthday today? She will wear it, and then she will still look stunning and everything. So the Lady Vodka, I think her name is Jennifer Ose, I think. I don't know if Jennifer here. Yeah, the Lady Vodka, guys, you guys should follow her. She's number three on my list. And number two on my list, guys, is Adako Ufiri. Adako is not that noisy again with, like, style. There's one time she used to blog and, you know, do a lot of... Uh, but now she's, like, focusing on uh, her job, I think. But Adako is such a form of inspiration. Like, the day I carried my keypad and said i was going to start blogging it was adaku i actually to her blog and then all that little um abroad blogs but Ad nigerian wise it was adaku's blog i looked at like she's such a phenomenal lady like um i don't know her personally that much i've met her obviously a couple times but she's just amazing like she's such a feminist she believes in like the right things she's so hardworking. adaku she follows people on twitter as well but yeah Instagram. So the last but not the least guys person you should be following on Instagram Nigeria. <laughs> At Metro Gypsy. <laughs> Alright guys. So follow up Metro Gypsy on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, Pinterest. Everywhere. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to make a blog post of this so you can see all their names. I'm going to put the link to the blog post in the description box. I'm also going to put their names on the screen as I'm talking as you'd have seen. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. Click the bell if you haven't as well. And see you on the next episode. Bye-bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah.